What's historic about today is that this is on MTN phones, MTN Spectrum, MTN South Africa SIM cards, and it was the first ever voice you know, call between a satellite in orbit to an unmodified cell phone on Earth. I'm Dan Dooley. For the last four years, I've been the Chief Commercial Officer of Link. Seven years ago, um, our CTO patented the ability to connect a satellite moving in eight kilometers a second to an unmodified, any unmodified cell phone. The cell phone in your pocket works on the satellite in orbit. And where we started is that we needed to prove to the world that this was possible. You are coming in loud and clear. Here also, loud and clear. Very Amazing. Good. Yes, this is a wonderful part of the first ever satellite yeah. to an unmodified phone on the continent of Africa. Congratulations to MTN. It's amazing. Thank you very much. Really, this is, this is history now. Yes. First call direct to call to satellite. Direct call to satellite. It's really amazing. Yeah, and your, your voice quality is perfect. And the quality good. is good, huh? No latency. Yeah, it's yeah, very, it's good. very good. Very good. We're very excited. Wow. Just uh, think about the things you can do in rural South Africa to uh, fill in where there's no terrestrial service. It's wonderful. Really amazing. I never imagined we'd have such good quality. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. I think we are writing history here. This is the first call ever in, our, in Africa. Yes, yes. Brought to you by MTN and Link. Absolutely. My name is Rami Farah. My title is Chief Technology Officer for MTN South Africa. My job is looking after the network, the expansion of the network, the quality of the connectivity, and the performance of the network. We came here to do the first POC in the middle of almost nowhere, so we can be able to prove the first mobile to satellite connectivity and mobile to satellite direct call. Thank God successfully we did it today. It was the first in Africa, first in South Africa, and it's landmark for the telecommunication in this country. LEO's low Earth orbit satellites are really the only way you could connect to an unmodified phone with true uh, enough bandwidth to have voice and data. You can do messaging from higher satellites, from geo satellites, meo satellites, but you really need it to be lower to the Earth to, to solve the physics you need to connect to a device that has a very small antenna that has unmodified and, and not tuned to a, to a terminal on Earth to be able to connect to a satellite moving, moving in orbit. Uh, the first use case would be just mass notifications. So with a few satellites, it gives you connectivity a few times a day. And when MTN sends out a mass notifications to its subscribers, an example would be weather alert, an example would be a terrestrial towers down for a certain amount of time, uh, could be a border opening and closing, could be a health alert, whatever the alerts are, Usually, those alerts only go to people that are under terrestrial service. Today, you'll be able to now do it under cell towers from space. So you'll be able to supplement the coverage, and no matter where you are, you'll be able to get that mass notifications. Then you'll be able to move up to messaging, so periodic messaging, the ability to send messaging, and then eventually getting to voice and data, where eventually you're going to be in a spot in Africa, and you will have the same connectivity you have in a city like Johannesburg. The important about satellite, fo satellite connectivity to phone call, it is giving the coverage in areas that you are not able to cover. In deep areas, deep rural areas where coverage, it's high cost for the operator. But still there are people, they need connectivity, they need to communicate. With this solution, you are able to cover everywhere and to give everybody the right to communicate and the possibility to be able to communicate make phone calls and sending SMSs. MTN was working with Link closely through MTN Group for this trial so they can achieve a good partnership so we can implement this service in all African countries where MTN operates. So this is now on the roadmap. The trial was done successfully. The first call was done today. Now we move to the next step where we have wider coverage, more satellites, and be able to commercialize the service. It will be connecting the unconnected. Everybody will be able to connect, no matter where he is. So it's milestone for MTN, for MTN Group, and for South African community.